so welcome back everyone to the channel now today we actually have a very exciting video because we're going to be taking a look at the new sponsored dinos that are currently in progress we had quite a few that have already been made and if you guys don't know what i'm going on about the sponsored mod program is something where people will wildcard sponsor people who create these mods and help them run it to one day hopefully become official to the game They've been going on for years and years and years now. Some have been released to the console, but many have not ended up being released. But what was very interesting about this one we're going to be looking at today, which is, as you'll see on your screen, Arc Editions, is they were the first mod to create the Deinonychus and later on was involved in the Valgero mod map as a new dino. I know some people said they don't believe that there was a link there, but as it's sponsored and as recently in the new Genesis trailer, a giant turtle has been taught, well, is going to be coming to the game. It kind of makes me feel like mod, I, I was told by Zen, the mod community manager, that sometimes people don't even understand that mods are added into the game without them even knowing. And that kind of makes me feel like there's some sort of links in between there. Now, it, this Ark Editions introduced some new wildlife to your Ark with these beautifully crafted creatures. And, and you know, obviously Ark Editions boost some skillfully and carefully developed species to add some life to the game. Now, before we get into the actual part of the video with the ones that are in progress to look forward to, let's go for over 800 likes on today's video, guys. Support this, share it with everyone because this is big information. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get in with it. So... This was obviously the um, sponsored mod page. Uh, well, no, this is the Steamwork page. And these are all of the different dinos that are in progress. Now, I'm going to be showing you the dossiers, but I'm going to mention the ones that I'm not showing you the dossiers for. So this one, number three here, is called the... I, I, I'm going to be awful with the names, just to let you guys know. I am really bad at pronouncing dinosaur names. But this one, it looks like it's like the Nitoraptor or something. I could not find anything on dossiers or anything on this creature being created. The Velociraptor I'm not showing you because uh, you guys know exactly what a Velociraptor is and I know, you know from all the Jurassic Park films everything like that that is currently being worked on. The other one I couldn't show you I think was the um uh, I think there was a few t towards the bottom that I can't show you, but you guys will end up seeing the ones that I do uh, show you next. But yeah, really, really awesome dossiers. And in my opinion, the one you guys are really going to love is the Crylophosaurus. I think I got that right, because this one is definitely something I'm looking to come into the game. Now, this um, Arc Editions did actually create the one of the Indominus Rexes, um, and this pack doesn't actually include uh, the Indominus in, because at one point I was thinking, Thinking, if this is all sponsored could we one day see the Indominus Rex they've changed the name of it they've rebranded it I can't give you guys that information and if it's not in the collection I'm not too sure but we'll see later on but the next part of the video now is obviously going to be going through the dossiers I hope you guys really do enjoy that if you want to know the ones that are released already you can check out other videos if you want to see gameplay on them there's things such as I'll show you guys all the pictures here before we stop there's the Brachiosaurus which is a fully released sponsored dino We've got this crazy crocodile thing, um, which is called the Deinosuchus or something like that. I know I always get them wrong. We've got the giant turtle, which again, this is tiny in comparison to the one that's coming to Genesis. And then we have this crazy fish thing that you can actually ride. So these are the current released ones, but we are now moving on to the unreleased, in progress, sponsored dinos. So this is the first dossier that we're going to be looking at today, guys. And as I said, I'm not very good at pronouncing different dinosaurs' names, but I'm going to go for it and say the Acrocanthosaurus is probably wrong, but we're just going to go with it anyway. And obviously, I really hope we see this official one day, but let's get straight in with the information about these new sponsored dinos. So the Ac Acrocanthosaurus is an apex predator, although not as large and powerful as a rex, it is sometime, sometimes seen ambushing sauropods, which is pretty crazy. Preferring to take its prey by surprise, it tears chunks of flesh from these giants with iron crushing bites, leaving them slowly to bleed, which again sort of sounds a bit like the Deinonychus where it sort of like jumps onto it, but it sounds like it's a lot bigger than it. I know everyone prefers having carnivores in the game. There's probably some people that prefer when an update wasn't a carnivore, but I really love them. It's always more exciting and more of a thrill to see a new carnivore in the game. So this is the first one here, as you can see, 
and it is obviously a carnivore and for an acrocanthosaurus i'm gonna go for if i'm wrong make sure to like pr like help me with all the pronunciations in the comment section down below because there's going to be loads that i do say wrong the next one here is the concavenator, it's probably something like that. It's an animal that was ad adapted to be in the desert with multiple big insects, um, like, you know, loads of crazy little things. It, to me, it kind of looks a bit like a raptor with like some crazy, like a mixture of everything. And, um, and so its teeth and jaws are prepared to easily start and crush keratin besides being a very good collector of the resource. Although its hums do not allow it to be uh, to ride in it, it gives us heat and also cold protection in addition to a water source. Now that is very interesting because when you see this character, you would have thought, um, when I say character Dino, you would have thought that it would have been something again is similar. You just ride it. It could be like some very quick new mount or something, but it actually you ends up being quite a useful thing. It could be like a defense mechanism. It can keep you warm. Uh, it can keep you warm, keep you cold. Use as water. Water, I think this would be a very useful creature in the game considering it could also be a huge protection for you as well Now the, the next one is something that has been talked about for Ark for so so long now Jen if you guys remember Jen She used to work with wildcard. She used to be the lead community manager. She's now moved on to another company She said that she really wanted this to come to the game But the creators said this is not what they wanted straight away And she obviously wanted this to come to the game and this is obviously going to be a sponsored dino so standard, just a, a a little little bit taller than a T Rex is the if if I pronounce it wrong, you guys know the Armagosaurus or or Margasaurus or something like that. Um, is arguably the island's apex herbivore. Though considerably smaller than some of the other sauropods, I've come across that it is far the most aggressive and maneuverable, um, like sort of dino in the game, actively picking fights with anyone that would be predators. It kind of reminds me a bit like um, a bit of, um, uh, I don't know, of some other dinos in the game, but then having a bigger one, like as you can see on, on this dossier here, there's a Carno right up close to it. So it sounds interesting. It sounds a little bit more like the herbivore that's actually going to stand up to the pack rather than just sit back and be attacked because you do not want a parasaur against a rex whereas this is more of a herbivore if you had to choose a fight with a herbivore you know obviously there is a trike but this guy would be something you'd probably look to have as he does look quite vicious as well and it'd be interesting to find out what more you know how the attacks will work with this how it's going to work in the game and everything like that now the next one i didn't really enjoy the dossier as much i still think it's a cool design it's harder to read and everything but this is called the gorgon gorgono spid or speak or sid or something i don't even know um so this looks like it's something similar to the um in my opinion the saber tooths or like the dire wolves or something like that obviously if you do want to read it you can pause the video because there may have been stuff that i've missed out that you guys really wanted to read it's a very strong mount and the ability to send enemies reeling back makes it excellent like sort of crowd control in it's in a large scale battle i feel like this would definitely take over the saber tubes and the dire wolves and stuff because apparently it's a very 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 strong mount i am really really looking forward to seeing these being completed with the arc editions mod because i really like the look of them and um you know this is probably going to go down as my favorite one out of all the ones i will be showing you today now the next one is i think it might be the second to last one i don't even know if i'm going to be able to get this right but the crylo Crylophosaurus. Crylophosaurus, I'm gonna go for, is one of the few carnivore dinosaurs I've seen permanently live in the cold regions. Um, so, um, jokingly referred as the Elvisosaurus, because of its head probably, um, it seems to be very out of place. Dinosaurs going into colder areas is nothing new, but one of these is uh, one of these scaly giants permanently hunting in such conditions is a rarity. Regardless, it was established itself well as one of uh, many uh, great predators in these areas. So you were only going to be finding this when it does come into the game in the cold areas. Now, I feel like this could definitely be 
a new annoyance for people that want to go in, you know, because there's a lot you have to take involved. If you're a new survivor in the game and there's a lot you've got to take like on board when you go into the snowy areas, you've got to make sure that you, you keep yourself warm. You've got to make sure that you've got the right mounts. You've got to make sure no, you know what to look forward. Well, no, not, not look forward to, but what you, what to expect is going to come and attack you. And there never really is anything in my opinion, in the cold areas of the map, you know, the snowy biomes that can really hunt you. And I feel like this could definitely be something to look out for. Now, the final one doesn't actually have a dossier. This is a little bit further down the line. It's something to do with like a bird or something mixed with a dragon. Um, I feel like Dragon Punk, the mod as well. Um, I don't know if they're still sponsored Dragon Punk. Um, they did have this as a part of the mythical creatures and this is currently being created as a part of the Ark Edition. So it'd be interesting to see if this comes. I like the ideas of actual dinosaurs, um, and I know you guys do too. Like, this one looks fantastic. Obviously, this one here is one of my favourite. I still would take mythical creatures in the game, but Ark is Ark. It isn't like Monster Hunter. It is Ark, and we came, we, you know, we love dinosaurs. I feel like it's definitely cool to switch up sometimes and have not just dinosaurs, but it kind of got to that point where it was too far away from no dinosaurs, and I feel like that's what people haven't ended up liking. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of of the video i hope you guys do, do enjoy as i said make sure to check out the arc editions mod give them some follow subscribe to it support it because you never know when these get released and as i said at the start of like you know how the dinos seem to be slowly releasing i could be wrong but it's a very interesting theory as sponsored mods do are what well, are meant to one day come official if they complete their mods but anyway thank you very much guys let's hit see if we can hit 800 like target as i said subscribe if you're new to the channel i'll catch you guys later